Hi everyone, welcome to Feline Jungle. Previously, I showed you my favorite plant shelf in my living room area. With over 100 plants, I like to spread my plants around the apartment. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my favorite plant corner in my kitchen and dining room area. This plant corner is completely different from the one in my living room. Here's my plant corner. struggle with this plant corner. It has very different elements compared to my living room. Since it is the dining room, I really wanted the focus to be on my table. So this is the focus and the plants are really there to complement that. Um, right now I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. So I'm just going to share my design process and maybe reorganize some things in the process as well. Due to the bright southern light, I immediately thought of putting my Hoyas here because Hoyas love bright and direct light. And what I use is the macrame hangers that I got from Amazon and they just hang along the window. They love being here. The only issue I had was in the summer when the light was too intense and I actually burned my Hoyas in a bad way. But to keep them in the same spot, what I did was I put a filter on the window instead so it would diffuse the light that was coming in. And the Hoyas are so much more happier now. They're not getting burned alive. They're actually getting that sun stress pink that a lot of people like to see in their Hoyas. For the macrame hangers, I actually got this twine one that has a more natural look to it. It has this brown look that really complements the pink wall that I have compared to the white ones that I usually see. I believe this was a pack of six for less than $20 on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I will leave the link in the description below. I wanted to take full advantage of the sunlight, so I also used this windowsill to put my plants on it. Right now I have some rubber trees, pink princess, Hoyas, and a ginger plant. Later on, I realized that this was not enough and I needed more space, so I added in this plant shelf. I added this shelf mainly for my bigger plants. Um, these plants will need moss poles in the future, like my philodendron red queen. This one actually has a moss pole ready. This is my monstera peru, and it'll just continue to climb on the moss pole. Previously, I couldn't put this on my windowsill, but now that I have the shelf, they can take advantage of that southern light as well. On the top over here, I have my hanging shelf. I really wanted to mimic the macrame hangers on this side of the wall, which is why I wanted a hanging shelf that has that same twine material. What I love about this shelf from Amazon is that it has two tiers, and then also there's two different ways of hanging it. So you can hang it on one point like I have it right now, or you can have the two straps hung on two different points. I like having the two different types of shelf because it gives a break in between where my plants can really grow. I don't really have that kind of height for my other plants. Like in my living room area, the plant shelf is like, has less than two feet spacing. And here it really allows my plants to grow on a moss pole. Um, this Peru is doing really well. I can't wait for it to grow even bigger. And so it goes for my philodendron red queen over there. This is my plant ICU area where I take care of plants in rehab. They're either recovering from root rot or being propagated or imported from Asia. And how it works is that I have a heat mat here that's on for 24 seven. This helps encourage the roots to grow faster. I also have some of these plants in plastic bags because it helps increase the humidity. I used to hate having plants in plastic bags, but I see that it really helps the plant and it works miracles. Um, I love this area because it's very discreetly under the shelf and it also helps shade the plants from the strong sunlight because these plants are more sensitive because they're recovering. I could film a separate video where I talk about each plant in this ICU unit. They each have a very unique story and I think you guys will be interested. I talked about the light, I talked about the heat. Another very important thing for plants is the humidity. 
And right here I'm using my humidifier from Eli Combs. It has many pros and cons, but what I love about it is it's 360 directional nozzle so I can control the mist. And also has a top down fill which makes it very easy for me to refill it. If you guys are interested in ways on how to increase humidity in your room, then I would recommend a video that I made in the description below. As mentioned in my video about my other plant shelf, I really like terracotta pots. Orange is also my favorite color, so I wanted to add more terracotta orange elements into my dining room, like this light over here. I use my terracotta saucers as a lampshade. And then for my arch focal point, I also painted it that terracotta color. I find that the green from the plants and the terracotta really complements each other. I really like this fiddle leaf over here. Um, this with the combination of the arch is very dreamy, especially with the humidifier on. I feel like I can stare at this space forever. Forever. I do plan on doing other DIY terracotta decor projects. I know a lot of you guys were interested in how I made these lights and I promise that I'll make more of these DIY decor videos in the future. I'm pretty satisfied with this plant corner right now. The only thing I could think of doing is reorganize some of these plants and also repot some of these things that I've been putting off for a very long time. I'm gonna do that right now and uh, see you guys in a bit. Here's a time lapse of me reorganizing and repotting my plants. I like to repot my plants, but I always feel like I have to get into the mood to repot something. It's almost like a ritual if you know what I mean. So I've been putting it off, but today is the perfect day to repot. I clean the table, the weather is good, the light is shining into the space so nicely. And even though my favorite plants are in the other room, I feel more comfortable in this one. I just like the aesthetic of this area more. I feel more relaxed. And I think it has to do with the warm tones from the pink walls to the terracotta accents. Anyways, I think I'm about done, so let me tell you some of the things I did. My general logic for reorganizing the plants was to have the bigger plants in the back and then the smaller ones in the front so that they all have equal exposure to the sunlight. So the first thing that stuck out to me was the Stephania erecta that I had in the back. It didn't really belong there, it wasn't doing much, um, it hasn't rooted or sprouted a new leaf so I think it's time for it to go to the ICU unit. So I put it down here and I swapped places with my Philodendron Dark Lord. He was recovering from being imported but now he's doing a lot better and he's ready to be with the big boys on top so I have him here in the back. Then what I did next was to kind of declutter some of the smaller plants I have here. It was too many plants so I moved one of my string of hearts up here with the other variegated string of hearts. And then I also swapped places between my Tetrasperma, my, my mini Monstera and um, my Pink Princess because I think it was too much light for him. And I know that my Pink Princess could withstand more light so I swapped places. And yeah, that's basically what I did here. And then I just repotted the random plants that I had here that I never had time to repot. Like my Pink Princess, um, these were cuttings that I took and now they're actually sprouting new leaves. Um, I repotted this one, I repotted this, I forgot what it's called, Ficus Tanaki rubber tree. I repotted this one and that's basically it. I didn't really do much more. There wasn't much that needed to be done, it's just chores that I never got to. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Just by making this video, I have lots of new ideas for the next one. I can talk about the plant I see you, where I talk about plants I have from rehab, recovering, or I could do a general plant tour video where I talk about plants I have in the house, plant stories, scams, imports, all that good stuff. Or I could do a uh, DIY decor video where I talk about DIY projects I have around the house like the lights I have or the arch that I painted. 
just let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see next and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye <laughs>